Computer science videos here today to show you guys in tutorial 6 of programming in CSS3, CSS colors, without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, so we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to the launch pad, go to the application called text edit, click on this and then command S to save, go to Documents, my YouTube channel, CSS3 tutorials, create a new folder called CSS Colors. Create and then save the text file as index.htm. Save yes, use.htm and then increase the size of the text edit file. Increase the font size. And now we are ready to start programming in HTML5 CSS3 to bring the CSS colors on screen when we execute the file. So, before we do that, colors are specified using predefined color names or RGB, HEX, HSL, RGBA, or HSLA values. In CSS, a color can be specified by using a color name such as orange, gray, blue, green, pink, yellow. So now we can move on to CSS background color. You can set the background color for HTML elements. So if we go to the text edit file and start the programming, less than exclamation mark doc type HTML. Go to a new line, insert the HTML tag, which defines a HTML document. Within this, we need the head and the body. The head defines information about the document. The body defines the document's body. We can have a title within head if required to, but not for this tutorial. Go within body and type in less than h1 style. Equals speech marks background color. This is all within the HTML file, not the external CSS files, which we can have. We did that in the previous tutorials. Background color. Colon. Yellow. Semicolon. End with greater than. And then we can say something like hello world. less than slash h1 greater than we can also have a paragraph if required to less than p style equals background color if i just copy what we have on top speech marks command v to paste change yellow to another color such as tomato, semicolon, speech mark, greater than, hello world a couple of times, copy what we have on the previous lines. That itself is the paragraph done. Less than slash, P to end the paragraph, command S to save, go all the way down to the doc, go to finder, documents, my YouTube channel, CSS3 tutorials, CSS colors, go to the index.htm file, right click, open with Safari, minimize finder, decrease the size 
of the web browser, decrease the size of the text that they file so we can then see what is happening simultaneously and then work on both windows at the same time. So we have a website that shows a heading and paragraph with different background colors such as yellow and tomato. Now we can move on to CSS text color. You can set the color of text to anything you like, such as any color in the spectrum. We have a wide variety and range of colors. Go back to the index.htm file, cancel out using comments. We did do that in the previous tutorials. If you're not sure how that's done, go to the previous tutorials and then come back to this tutorial. Less than exclamation mark, double dash, and then at the end, double dash greater than command s to say go back to the web browser right click reload the page the code is no longer visible to the web browser as we have cancelled it all out and now we can work on css text color go within body type in h3 style equals speech marks color colon blue semicolon greater than hello world take what we have from the previous lines of code highlight copy paste command v less than slash h3 and this itself will now give us hello world in color blue. Go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page. And now we have hello world with color blue. We can do this with a variety of colors. If I just take the previous line of code, highlight, command C to copy, go to a new line, command V paste, color, red go back to the web browser right click reload the page what do we have hello world in red we can now move on to css border color you can set the color of borders to any color you like we have a variety of colors go back to text edit file take the double dash greater than Cut and paste at the end of the code. Command S to say go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page. We no longer see hello world. That's because we have canceled out the code we no longer require. Go back to the body of your index to HTM file, less than H1 style. Equals speech marks border. Colon, two pixels, solid red, semicolon, speech marks greater than hello world, less than slash h1, greater than command s to say, go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page, and what do we have? Hello world with a border of Two pixels solid red. We can do this for various colors if required to. Take the previous line of code, highlight, copy, go to a new line, paste, change red to blue. Command SSA, go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page. What do we have? We have another heading with border, two pixels solid blue. We can also use CSS color values. In CSS, colors can also be specified using RGB values, hex values, HSL values, RGBA values, and HSLA values, same as the color name tomato. We get the same output, same as the color name tomato, but 50% transparent, we get the same output. So we can now move on to a couple of examples to see 
What happens when we use these values? So, highlight, dash, dash, greater than, cut, paste at the end of the code, command S to say, go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page, and what do we have? Nothing on screen. Why? Because we are canceling the code we no longer require to work on new code. Go within body h1 style equals speech monks background color. RGB. 255. Comma ninety nine, comma seventy one, greater than semicolon, speech marks greater than RGB. So we can take what we already have and paste. RGB 255.99.71 and then at the end less than slash h1 greater than command let's just say go back to the web browser right click reload the page and what do we have RGB 255.99.71 same as the color tomato if we take the previous lines of code command x command v to paste Command S, go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page, and what do we have? It's the same concept. So we can quit Safari, quit text edit. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.